I've seen your penis, and apparently I don't like it. Hi, I'm Giselle Bryant from The Real Housewives of Potomac, and it is going down in the DMs. I'm not going down, but it's going down. I probably have hundreds of DMs in my phone, but there's like certain ones or certain people that like pop to the top because they keep DMing me. And it varies from people watching the show who might not necessarily like Giselle and they'll send me hate mail. And it's like, bitch die or jump off a cliff or you're horrible, you're disgusting, please quit the show. I get those, which are actually funny. <laughs> Ooh, I was gonna say some terrible things. I'm just not. And then I get prayers. People send me prayers, like, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that he look over your life and bless you and bless your children from now until the end of time. I get those on a daily basis. Thank you very much for all your prayers. And then I get a lot of penises. All of these, if I click on it, are penises. Do you see how many? Do you see, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. The people that want to send penises over and over again, they're always at the top because they keep sending them. And I'm like, can you just put it back in your pants? I don't need to see it all the time. I want to know how many times has that worked for you gentlemen? Because I think it's creepy. And this is just a little tip for guys. I never respond when anyone sends me a picture of their penis, like ever. I don't know if it works. Meaning, I don't know if sending a dick pic makes the receiver say, hmm, let me respond and let me ask you to come over. Do I wanna see that brown penis? Hell no. Here's the deal, people. Do celebs slide into my DMs, single men? Well, actually, they ain't single. Yes, they slide. And I do I respond? No, I do not. I'm lying. I respond. <laughs> I have responded a time or two, but you know what? I kind of feel like, is, is that the way that we meet each other these days? I just don't like it. I'm an old fashioned girl. I kind of just want to meet you at 7-Eleven and then we fall in love. No, I have not been on a date because you slid into my DM, so stop doing it. I ain't gonna get you nowhere. One of them just sent me my picture back and was like, I love you. How are you doing today, young lady? And I did respond and I said, great. I want to cook for you sometime. Can I be out of the friend zone? <laughs> Miss Bryant, I would only come to DC to take you out. Never been there, but for you, you're worth the trip. This is just this morning now. Hello, I just wanted you to know that I've always admired you and your success. I have a request if possible. Could you follow my Instagram page? It would mean the world to me. I have a virtual production business and I appreciate you. No, bye, delete, block. So I posted a picture of me a couple days ago. He sent it back to me. Look at those legs. Mm -hmm. Next picture. Look at that smile and that laugh. Mm. With like the emoji with the tongue. Okay. <laughs> then this person who I don't know sends another picture of me. I need to see you in person up close. Thank you very much. <laughs> then the next DM. You want to know what it is? Cornbread. He sends me a picture of cornbread. And he says, this looks tasty. When will I get to cook for you? What? You crazy psychopath? Nope. Nope, nope. I'm so glad I'm going through this because now I get to delete. This is what you should do. Find my number. Find somebody who knows me, who knows me, who knows me, and get my number and then send me a text. I like text messages. I'll be very impressed with that. I'll slide in DMs, not because I'm necessarily thinking that you're cute or hot, right? I'm sliding in because I want something. There's a little bakery in New York and they sell cookies. And I have gone on their online ordering and I've ordered said cookies. And my cookies haven't come. I have slid into the DMs to say, hey, Giselle Bryant ordered cookies. <laughs> and I'm waiting patiently for my cookies. When are they coming? Does Charlemagne the God count as a celebrity? He was on the trail of trying to get people to vote and talking about the black culture and the black community. And there was a couple things that I felt like he should say and he wasn't saying properly. I had met this man once at the time, but I was deciding to tell him what he should do with his platform. Okay, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> I wanna tell you what to talk about because you're doing an amazing job out here. However, and I proceed to go on. <laughs> and I forgot all about it. He didn't respond to me, I forgot all about it. Okay, so Zoom, two years go by, and I now have a podcast called Reasonably Shady, and this is on Charlemagne's platform. So then he was promoting Reasonably Shady, and he sent a story, and then, it, you know, of course it went to the DM. So I looked at it and I was mortified because I saw the last 
post that I sent him, which was me telling him how to handle his business out here in these streets. And then he's promoting my podcast. I was so embarrassed. Shouldn't DMs just go away and evaporate over time? I would have loved for this one to evaporate. On the show, I have a lot of scenes with my daughters and they are very opinionated. They get their mother all the way together, but I don't mind because they're mine. How do you guys feel about me, you know, going out every now and again? We yeah. just don't want you alone and gross and by yourself. Old. Huh? And so a lot of people give me their mothering stories or, you know, how seeing me be with my daughters has helped them when they're raising their children. So I get a lot of those. Mm -hmm. Your daughters are so wise beyond their years. You have done such a great job with them. Keep it up. You're really helping me with being a mommy. So those I like and I appreciate. Anytime something happens on the show between, let's say, me and Karen or me and, I don't know, Wendy or whatever, people want to give me a play-by-play -play about what happened in the scene as if I wasn't in the scene. <laughs> I know what happened. I was there. <laughs> And your version of it is actually wrong, okay? Because you weren't there. There's nothing that I've actually said that was has been horribly shady that I regret. My hot box is called the WAP box, okay? And Karen, your box is all the way dry. I feel like, you know, shade is to be looked at as something that you shouldn't take too personally. And you know, we should all be able to laugh and definitely laugh at ourselves. So everybody, get your panties out of a bunch, okay? Laugh at yourself. A lot of people want to know what was like the hardest part about filming season six. It was tough, I'm be honest. We really had to scale down any events that we were gonna have, or we really couldn't have any events. We had these like really booty trips, like terrible, like down the street an hour. So this room doesn't have a bathroom. Are you serious right now? In my DMs all the time is like, what's <clears throat> happening with the show? And of course, what is <clears throat> happening with the reunion? Let's be clear, it was a great reunion. We got a lot of things. Handled, kinda. We had a guest appearance that everybody knows already. Her name is Nicki Minaj. She came and she delivered. You take jobs at Karen's age all the time. No, I do not. Oh my, I must be watching so a different mother I, show. <laughs> I appreciate Nicki for who and what she is. Like, she was able to talk to us from a woman to woman, which Andy Cohen can't do, and black woman to black woman, which, you know, Andy Cohen is white. So we were able to have some different kinds of conversations. I loved every second of it. Do you think your beauty has started fading at all? Ooh. Or you did have, or are you just giving a different look? Are you oh beauty my God. shaming me? Is that, no, is that what that no, is? No. She got into me and that was fine. I didn't mind. Cause I like when people understand who and what I am. Yes. She was amazing. Guess what? If you missed it, you better get into it, okay? This reunion is epic. <laughs> when has a Nicki Minaj graced the stages of anybody's reunion? No, she has not. So get into it and don't miss it, okay? Don't miss it.